is different, but not. Now, some of you may have seen the trailers for this. This is basically a film about Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter, going undercover and infiltrating a white supremacist group. Now, I never saw any showings for this in the theaters, so when I saw it came out on DVD and it was cheap, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. And I'll admit, I do like it. It does prove Daniel Radcliffe more as a, a very competent actor. We liked him in the Harry Potter films because he was Harry Potter. But to admit, his acting level was not, say, amazing. He was good-ish, but I never really thought that his talent as an actor ever got challenged. And so then this film came. And I was like, okay, let's see how he does with an American accent absolutely phenomenal he even does di different variations of his american accent and his character is very entertaining to see this guy who has been kind of taken for granted at the bureau and then he gets thrust into this position of which he feels that he can prove himself and it kind of almost oversteps him but he's still extremely committed because of his character because of his background there's two issues with this movie though two major issues one, I never felt afraid for him. Ever. There's a scene, a very specific scene in which we are supposed to feel f afraid. And I had the tingling of fear, but I never really manifested it in anything. And the scene continues on and then the, whole, the film continues on as it goes. And that's how I feel with this film. You're never really afraid for Radcliffe. He's enjoying this. He's enjoying, not the whole racist part, but he's enjoying being undercover. And he's like, wow, this is such an amazing experience. And his relationship with Tony Coletta, she's talking about the good old days and whatnot. And it's kind of like, okay, this went from a serious film because the film's subject matter is very good. And then it kind of goes to this, oh, reminiscent thing. The thing that this film has that I will say that works amazingly well is its source material. It is focusing in Disney. It uses a lot of material from different actual white supremacist groups, websites, videos, pictures, all these things. And it puts it in and it really brings to life what is happening still in the modern day and what these groups are basically following. Are they really radical groups? Which is kind of the question of this, is how far are they willing to go and what is their true cause? And it actually shows the, more so the lack of direction these guys have. And that's what I liked. But going back to the issue of him being in danger, I never felt that. Whenever I think of an undercover film, I always think of The Departed, and Leonardo DiCaprio's performance in that was fantastic. He made you feel the paranoia, the fear, the absolute stress level this guy was going through being in such a group. Now, admittedly, Ratcliffe's group is nowhere near as harsh. There isn't murders happening left and right, but I never really felt that he was afraid. He was able to conquer everything, which was cool. I liked that. But I was waiting for a slip up at one point, but he never slips up and that leads into the second issue is his character is near on perfect. There's no issues with him. He never has a, a fault here and there. If he ever does have a mess up, he's able to cover it. And I liked that at first. There was a lot of moments where he was able to cover his ass. But then it just kept happening, and then I, again, that added into the first part, which is that I never felt afraid for him. This film is talking about the radical ideologies of certain groups, but it's also talking about its disorganization and the threat from within. But what I've tried to come across here is I did enjoy it, but it's not perfect and it's not the best it could have been there's danger elements that could have been added in this film Radcliffe's character is so good he's over the top good and the ending the ending I'll admit I did like but there's something that they do that you wouldn't do in a situation like that it's just you wouldn't if you were actually doing an undercover investigation you wouldn't do that that's just not the right decision to do. I still enjoyed Imperium. It's a one-time watch, honestly, for me. I did enjoy Radcliffe's acting in this film. He's definitely proving himself to me. And I think that he is a competent actor in this film. And I thought the film was competent. But in terms of something different, I felt there was so much more this film could have done. So in the end, I'm going to give Imperium a 4 out of 7. I enjoyed it, but it's just not the big woohoo that I thought it was going to be. I was really hoping that this film would go more into depth into the 
actions and aggressions of these groups and we got a little bit of that but more so we had a lot of these visual images from photos videos and all this stuff that was put in which was cool but I felt that those were taking away from the actual point of the film itself more so this was the mainstay this was what you remembered but you should be remembering what the movie is trying to do itself not the copy and paste images its own images Anyway, guys, that's all for me. That's a really weird, in-depth thought I had. I'll see you guys later.